Social media is a great tactic for companies to market and advertise themselves to a wider online community. With today's technology, it is important that companies, no matter how large or small, use social media platforms when reaching different target demographics, showcasing their products, and making meaningful connections with customers online. For my senior capstone, I chose to focus on increasing social media engagement for Madsen Shop and Supply Incorporated. My name is Eric Gerton, and in today's agenda, we will look at the background of Madsen's, we will analyze the project, we will look at the framing theory and how it applies to my project, we will look over the project's design, the results, and then finally we will recap. Now first off, we are going to go into a little background on Madsen's. Madsen's is a three-generation family-owned business located in Centralia, Washington. Madsen specializes in serving professional chainsaw users as well as other outdoor workers. Aside from selling chainsaws and other power tools, Madsen's also has a wide variety of soft products which include clothing like shirts, pants, socks, and high-vis gear, among other things. Madsen's also serves over 10,000 customers a year across the U.S., Canada, and internationally, making them large enough to have good prices, a wide variety of products and expert service, yet small enough to care about each and every customer. Now this year marks the 74th year that Madsen's has been in business. Over the course of 74 years, Madsen's has transformed a lot. These pictures accurately portray this transformation. The top photo shows Magnus outside of his single bay repair shop in Madsen's first location 70 years ago. Now this current photo down here shows the new shop and warehouse in a new location which was opened by Sam, the current owner, in 1999. In this new shop and warehouse they have over 30,000 square feet of space for all of their hard goods and soft goods. Madsen's also has a service ramp which goes right into their shipping department and a large parking area for all their customers to use. Within the Madsen's building you will also find a service area where technicians can work on different customers power tools and they can service them and bring them back fully operational. Aside from that, there are also many pieces of Madsen's history throughout the shop, including the old shop truck, which was originally purchased by Magnus. Now moving forward with my project, when I first began, I analyzed Madsen's Facebook page. They already had a good amount of followers and likes on this page, and my plan for this page was to expand on it and hopefully get more followers and likes. I also chose to create an Instagram, hopefully to reach a younger target demographic in that area. And out of all of the promotional posts that I did, there are three main themes that I wanted to incorporate. And these were promoting the end of the year sale that Madsen's has every year from November to December. And I wanted to do employee profiles, which looked at each employee and had a few interesting facts about them. And then finally, the historical posts, which talked about Madsen's history and some of the background surrounding the company. Now this photo right here is a employee profile that I did on one of their technicians who's been there for over 36 years and it was a very good popular hit on Facebook and Instagram. Now this one right here I did as a kind of beginning of the promotion for end of the year sale. Pictured here in this uh, post is a flyer that contains all of the discounted items in the end of the year sale. Now this post I did was on the loggers jeans which is one of the promotional items that I did for the end of the year sale. It's featured in their flyer and at a discounted price 
and it was also very good. This photo shows the three uh, founders of Madsons. You have, you have Magnus on the right, you have Ralph on the left, and then in the middle you have Sam, who is the current owner of the company. And then finally, this is just another example of a promotional photo that I did uh, for a post, which shows all of their high vis gear, some of their Carhartt gear, and just a lot of different stuff that people could engage with. My communication theory that I chose to use for my project was framing theory. With framing theory, I took all the values and important aspects of Madsen's and I put it into a picture frame. Framing theory refers to words, images, phrases, and presentation styles that a speaker uses when relaying information about an issue or an event to an audience. So with the framing theory, I chose to frame the values of Madsen's that were most meaningful and the ones that I discussed with the owner prior to this project. These were fair prices, family, expert service, and customer relationships. All of these I tried to put into the framing of the posts that I chose to make for Madsons. Moving on to the design of my project. So since I started this project in October of last year, I wanted to make sure I had some goal setting. And with this goal setting, I had a timeline of all the things that I wanted to accomplish dating from October from last year until now. Through the posts themselves, I chose to either take a picture of different products in the shop, or I would use software like Canva to make them more appealing and design them in a way that attracted viewers. I also used meaningful captions, hashtags, and things that would go along with the picture to make it more appealing to the online audience. Short and sweet were what I emphasized. Now when looking at the results of my project, I would say it was very successful. I was able to reach a wider audience with the younger target demographic being on Instagram, as well as Facebook coming up with over 200 new likes and follows, and Instagram going to 350 follows as of today. I was also able to implement marketing and communication strategies to make my posts more effective and reach more eyes. Throughout all of this, I made good connections with different companies in the area, and I'm able to pave a new light for Madsons in the new era of technology. Now, to recap what I talked to you about today, we went over the background of Madsons, we looked at the project and all of its parts, we analyzed the framing theory and how it applied to my project. I took you through a little bit of the design and we analyzed the results. Thank you so much for listening to my senior capstone project. Stay safe, stay healthy, good luck.